This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 5. First here at 5 o'clock, authorities in Aurora saying human remains have been discovered in December, leading to a break in a missing persons case. And it's also leading to more questions tonight. So let's get right to WGN's Brona Tumulty. She is live in Aurora with more. Brona. Good evening, guys. Very sad news for the family of 22-year-old Taisha Bell here today. Loved ones did come to the press conference, but understandably didn't want to speak out. They still don't know exactly what happened to this young mother of two all those years ago. This afternoon, we are announcing a new development in a missing persons investigation from 2003. Some closure, but no comfort today for the family of 22-year-old Taisha Bell, missing since 2003. After she received a telephone call, she left the home, but left the television on, candles burning in her bedroom, and her two young children with family members. She had not been heard from or seen since. That is until December 11th of last year when human remains were found in a wooded area of Kane County. A number of bones were found along with clothing and other personal effects. Those personal items alone didn't identify the body, but a national database designed for this very purpose did. The CODIS system is a DNA national database maintained by the FBI and that law enforcement agencies can enter profiles into and compare with found un unidentified decedents. One of the bones from the scene was sent to the Illinois State Police Crime Lab to create and compare CODIS uh, profiles with this suspected missing person. And the match came back as Bell. But the big questions now, what happened to her all those years ago and who is responsible? We need more information before criminal charges can be authorized. And that's where the public comes in. We implore anyone who may have information to please come forward. Now, if you have any information that might help police in this case, there are a few ways to come forward. There's a dedicated tip line number on your screen right now, along with an email address. And you can also submit a tip anonymously through calling Aurora Area Crime Stoppers. All of that should be on your screen, and anything you can do at all might help police finally crack this case. Live in Aurora, Brona Tumulty, WGN News. All right, Brona, thank you. Also breaking here at 5.